John Delaney is running for president. Yes, still. John Delaney, who looks like Homer Simpson's long-lost twin, only ripped. Damn is polling under 0.2%. How far under? I don't know. Most polls no longer include him. He's polling under 0.2%, despite the fact that he was the first to announce his candidacy all the way back in July of 2017. So he can't blame being the newbie. Uh, He's polling at under 0.2%, despite the fact that he has sunk $25 million dollars of his own personal fortune into his campaign, so he obviously can't blame lack of funding either. He's polling under 0.2%, despite the fact that he has been in two of the debates so far, so he can't blame a lack of exposure. This is a guy who actually paid for a slick campaign bus so that he could go around and speak to crowds of 11 people. I've seen uh, Taco Bell lines with more people in them than that. The great thing about Delaney that I actually have to admire on kind of a stupid level is just how utterly bereft of a clue he is. Listen to this excerpt. What Delaney lacks in support, he makes up for in optimism. He brushed off concerns that he won't make the next Democratic debates. The bar for entry is far higher for the next round in mid-September by insisting he could make the one after that because he expects other candidates to drop out. Well, he didn't make the debates in September, and he didn't make the ones in October either. Yet, I suppose his optimism remains because he still hasn't dropped out. And did you catch his plan there? He's basically waiting for the low-tier garbage candidates to drop out so that he has a chance at picking up the meager table scraps of support that they leave behind. It sounds ridiculous on the face of it, But it's even more so when you realize the crucial fact that the lowest tier candidate in this race by far is John Delaney. This guy is the walking embodiment of the sunk cost fallacy. He gave up his seat in Congress to run for president and it's not working. $25 million of his own money sunk into running for president, still not working. You know, he sunk years of his life at this point into this campaign in Iowa, trying to persuade the voters in that crucial state to deliver him an upset victory over far more popular candidates. And guess what? It's still not working. Time, money, energy, status. He's given it all up just to achieve the dream of one day being President John Delaney. And it's never, ever, ever going to happen. If my policies have to become more moderate to get things done that matter to the American people, then I'm all in. His tenacity and his effort have been rewarded only with suffocating obscurity. The only thing he knows how to inspire is mockery. But that's only on the rare occasion that you actually notice him long enough to bother making a joke about him. He's so bland, even his footprints don't leave an impression. But you know, in a way, he speaks to the dreamers because he puts his audience to sleep. I'm just kidding, he doesn't have an audience. And I can already hear the sarcastic asshole among you saying, neither do you anymore, TJ. (laughs) Well, you're watching, aren't you, you hypothetical little bitch? Anyway, John Delaney, I feel bad for the guy. All he wants is the most prominent position of power in all the land, But just because he's an idiot with zero charisma and no ideas, that dream will never come true. What a shame. He's so bad, even his campaign staff wants him to drop out. Let me repeat that. The people who are paid to support him don't even want to support him. (laughs) I don't blame him. It's got to look bad on a resume, you know? Uh, Do you have any political uh, experience? Uh, yeah, I worked on the Delaney campaign. What's that? I, I didn't quite make that out. Oh, I, I said, uh, no, no, I don't have I don't have any political experience. If you had to choose between putting John Delaney uh, on your resume or Hitler on your resume, you'd be an idiot not to put Hitler. Because, you know, at least then you could probably still campaign for Ted Cruz or something. You know what's funny? Not this video. Shut up, hypothetical person. Quit voicing all my insecurities, you bastard. Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, I kind of like John Delaney. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong, I'd never vote for him in a million years, but I kind of like him. He's certainly persistent. Then again, so is cancer. Anyway, 
Like this video, subscribe, hit the alert bell, leave a comment, share the video, throw a virgin into a volcano, say the alphabet backwards, learn origami, etc., etc. I'm the amazing atheist. Peace the fuck out.